So we're looking at the movement standards for straight arm pulling strength. We've got level one all the way through to level 10, and that is the straddle lever hold. So the first one, let's look at level number one. It's an active hang. So I'll face this way. You're going to grab the bar, move into a passive position. So the shoulders are going to move into an elevated position here. What you want to do, so you, yeah, so your ears are touching your shoulders. You want to pull your shoulders down into depressed position, and that's the active hang. So we go here, we pull, and we hold here. Active position. Passive, this is active here. This is where we want to be. And you can see that I'm taking just a little bit of weight off with my feet. Once you feel like you've got enough um, strength in the shoulders to support yourself without your feet on the ground, that's when you move on to level number two. So level number two is an active hang, a static hold. So we're going to jump up on this bar. I'm just going to show you that. So the same thing, but our feet aren't on the ground this time. And we just pull and we hold. I'll show you from this way. Straight arms, pull and hold. Level number three is the ring arching scat pull. So the rings around chest height. I'm going to drop underneath the rings. Just with the heels on the ground, you can bend the legs as well. We want to retract the shoulder blades, also depress too, so pulling the shoulder blades down, and then we want to arch as much as we can. Common mistake that I see is like people bend their arms. This is a straight arm movement, so you want to keep your arms locked out and just work through your back. So retraction and depression of the scapula. Arching, squeezing here. Okay, the next one is the bar arching scat pull. So we're going to jump up on here. We're going to initiate the movement with level number two, the active hang, and then we're going to pull into the arching scat pull. Shoulder width apart. You can either go thumb over or under, doesn't really matter. Active hang, and then we pull the bar down, retract, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So it's depression, retraction. All right, level number five is a leg raise, so just a bent leg raise. We're going to jump up, just like we did for all the other active hanging drills. And we're just going to pull the knees up into the chest. Squeeze. So we're building strength in the hip flexors and the core. Pull, and then back down to here. Sweet. Level number six is the front lever pull. So we're going to initiate with that level number five, the leg raise. But then we're going to see if we can curl our spine, pull the bar down, and try to get the tops of our feet all the way to the bar. I'll just do a couple of reps here so you can see it. So from here, we pull, curl, pull the bar down, touch. And then we come all the way back down to that passive hang position. Again, activate, pull, touch, and then all the way down. The next level is the skin the cat. So we're actually going to pull ourselves up exactly like we just did. But the feet are going to pass through all the way into a German hang position. And then we come all the way back around. It's going to take about five seconds to get through, and then about five seconds to get back over. Here, pull, and around, all the way, German hang, pull, all the way back to here. So that's the skin the cat, level number seven. Level number eight is a tuck lever hold. So I'll show you from this angle again. Level number eight, jump up. We're going to pull all the way until we get to the bar. And then we're going to retract the shoulder blades, lower down, and hold this tuck variation here. Level number nine is an open tuck. So again, pulling to that position, coming down and slowly starting to open up that tuck here. Whew, such hard work. The next variation is a straddle. And this is level number 10. Jump up, pull all the way to the top. See if we can get a straddle and holding this position here. All right, that's it for straight arm pulling levels.